So we opened the show by telling you about the comedian Josh Denny, who has been silenced as a comedian because he has pro-life views. He's not the only one, though. John Gibson was the CEO of Tripwires, a video game company. He's a very famous video game developer. Last year, he tweeted this, and this is the whole tweet, quote, proud of the U.S. Supreme Court affirming the Texas law banning abortion for babies with a heartbeat. As an entertainer, I don't get political often. Yet with so many vocal peers on the other side of the issue, I felt it was important to go on the record as a pro-life game developer. That was it. He didn't threaten anyone. He didn't even attack anyone. He just said what he believed. Well, for tweeting that, he lost his job. The company that he started and was majority owner of, or had the largest ownership stake in, and then the media decided to destroy him personally. Unbelievable experience. We spoke to John Gibson at length for an hour on Tucker Carlson Today about it. Here's part of the conversation. I call it social terrorism. Yes. It is an effort to use fear and intimidation uh, to cause people to change, either, either hide or pretend that they're not what they are, really, so that they can keep their jobs, so that they can keep their status. Um, and I just think that's, that's just a terrible thing for the world. Well, it's prima facie evil, for one thing. Terrorism is always wrong. You know, everything should be voluntary. I mean, you can't force people to believe something. That's crazy. You know, that's 8th century Islam. You know, convert would be beheaded or something. It's really... Um, but there was not one person... And by the way, I wrote down social terrorism because I'm stealing that and not giving you credit, sorry. No, that's such a great phrase, and it's such a more precise phrase than cancel culture, which is, like, pathetic and weak. Um, it doesn't describe the phenomenon. But there, just to be clear, there was not one person in your world who stood up and said, we, we cannot crush this man because he has a different view? There was, uh, there was one person within the company, um, um, a lady that was resistant to what they were doing to me. Good for her. Um, and she was fairly senior. Um, and I really appreciated her, you know, sort of standing up and pushing back. But uh, it was diff it was difficult for her too. I mean, she was outnumbered, um, and but also in the position she was in, she was having to deal with a lot of the fallout, and that's that's how this social terrorism works: is you make people scared, you make their jobs more difficult, you make them worry that people are going to leave the company if they don't, you know throw the person who, who disagreed with their political positions out of the boat. And uh, so she really couldn't overcome the wave of sentiment of the other folks. And then the people that, are, that the other people that agreed, they're afraid to speak up. They don't want to be next. Um, I had one of the owner, other owners of the company um, politically, we're very, very, um, we're very aligned. He thinks cancel culture is bad. He thinks abortion's bad. Um, and he said, uh, "Yeah, I don't want to be canceled next." How heartbreaking was that? I mean, these are your friends. You created the company with them. You work with them for twenty years, and to see them participate in this must have just destroyed you. Tucker. Words, words can hardly convey uh, how crushed I was. Um, you, everyone that works puts a little bit of themselves into something, or maybe a lot. Yeah. But when you're doing, when you're doing something that like this, that was just a passion, something you used to do for free, and you just absolutely love it, and it's, you know, you spent 20 years, 25 of years of your life crafting the skill set. And you're at the top of your game, and you love what you do every day. You just love coming into work and making people happy. And we, we were making sure millions of fans happy, but also the company would take 10 percent of our profits and divide it up amongst the employees. And there was a lot of profit. And people were out going out and buying cars and houses. And I would see people coming into work smiling and happy. And I just loved having a job where I got to make 
not just the public happy, but, but the employees happy. And to have that all destroyed, uh, to feel like, well, I shared something with my, with my wife. I'll tell you what I said to her. I said, I said, I just want to die. Because yeah. I don't want to live, I don't want to live in a world that's this unjust. I agree. And, yeah. Yeah, I got depressed. I got, of course, angry at suicidal, um, not wanting to leave the house. Um, yeah, it destroyed me. And I have lived through 13 months of hell. The entire episode will be available next week to stream on Fox Nation. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.